Every spring, I'm very excited to set out my cucumbers and zucchini plants because I look forward to those fresh vegetables. Uh, but my enthusiasm dwindles a little bit as the summer starts and the squash bugs and cucumber beetles arrive. Now squash bugs are the most serious pests of both squash and pumpkins in the United States. And in the southern region, they're even more problematic because they have multiple generations. They feed with a piercing sucking mouth part that pierces into the leaf and it also transmits a disease which causes wilting, yellowing, and even death of our plants. So very big problem. Of course, they're also pretty hard to control. So I like to start with the best defense. Um, I, I like to ap apply multiple levels of defense, beginning with my plant selection. So with squash bugs, there's certain cultivars that are highly susceptible to squash bug damage, and that includes the yellow crook neck and the yellow straight neck. And so I'm planting instead um, zucchini varieties. Zucchinis tend to be much more resistant and for the way I use the vegetables, I don't mind substituting one for another. Now everybody's tastes differ, but for me, zucchini is an acceptable substitution. However, you still need to be careful. There's one zucchini cultivar called Cocazelle, which is also highly susceptible to squash bug damage. So you have to do your research and select wisely. Now with the cucumbers, although squash bug is certainly a problem, the cucumber beetle is another very serious pest of our cucumbers. And again, we can enlist some genetic resistance in managing those. Now with our cucumber plants, the beetles are attracted to a chemical that's produced in the plant called cucurbitacin. And this is the same chemical that causes the fruits to have a bitter flavor. So if we look for cultivars that are labeled as burpless or non-bitter, those plants have less of that chemical that attracts the beetles. So they tend to be a bit more resistant. Once we get our plants in the ground, we're going to put in our next line of defense, and that's to cover our row with a floating row cover. Now you can lay the row cover right on the ground, but you have to loosen it regularly as the plants grow. So we've decided to put in hoops, and these are just simple straight lengths of PVC, and we've put in rebar into the ground, and then bent the PVC pipe over the two pieces of rebar to create our hoops. And then we just simply uh, drag our floating row cover over those. Now you wanna be sure to secure your row cover to the ground as well. You can use bricks or boards or even bags filled with sand. But that will keep the insects from accessing our plants from underground. Now this is an excellent strategy to manage both the squash bugs and the cucumber beetles. Now our cucumber plants and our squash, pumpkin, melons, all of these are insect pollinated. So once the plants begin to flower, we have to remove the row cover to allow bees and other pollinators to access those plants and pollinate the flowers so we can produce fruit. At that point, we'll return to the garden and look at some other strategies we can use to manage our squash bugs and cucumber beetles.